What were Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell made for? Setting records at the Oscars. The 22-year-old singer-songwriter is now the youngest person in history to win two Oscars, as she and her brother collaborator won their second Academy Awards for Best Original Song during Sunday Night Ceremony. Eilish and O'Connell won for co-writing, What Was I Made For? The emotional Barbie soundtrack song that also won Song of the Year at the Grammys earlier this year. The duo previously earned awards in the same category for their work on the titular song from the 2021 James Bond movie No Time to Die. With their latest victory, Eilish and O'Connell shattered a long-held record set by the late Louise Rayner, who won back-to-back -back Oscars for Best Actress in 1937 and 1938 for The Great Zigfield and The Good Earth, the latter of which she won at age 28. I had a nightmare about this last night, Eilish said on stage at the 2024 Oscars, after accepting the prize from presenters and Wicked co-stars Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande at the Dolby Theater. Thank you so much to the Academy. I just didn't think this would happen. I was not expecting this. I feel so incredibly lucky and honored. Thank you to Greta. Thank you. I love you for this. I'm grateful for this song and this movie and the way that it made me feel. This goes out to everyone who was affected by the movie and how incredible it is. In an interview with EW about the process of writing, what was I made for? Eilish reflected on crafting the tune at a particularly dark period in her life. I was also in a weird place mentally in my life. We were in the studio and did come up with stuff, but nothing felt right. I don't think I was able to be vulnerable and self-aware about my life and surroundings. That makes it hard to write sometimes, she revealed. When we had this new thing to write about that wasn't about my life, it was almost relieving. I didn't have to worry about how I felt. I could just write from the perspective of this character. What was amazing is immediately after, I realized it was absolutely about me and my life. I didn't even mean to do that. 